Hey there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now this is really a complimentary video that goes with a video and article I've done over at Android Authority which is called, Is Your Phone Spying On You? And this one takes a closer look at Google. Is Google spying on you? And I've used a service called Google Takeout which allowed me to download all my data from Google so I can see what it is they know about me. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so Google Takeout is a service that Google offer that is designed that if you wanted to migrate all of your photos and your emails and so on to a different service, they allow you to download it in one big chunk and therefore you can actually kind of take that stuff and try somehow to shoehorn it back into a different service. How successful you'd ever be at that, I don't know, but it's nice of Google to provide that ability. But also, in doing that, they also tell you everything else they know about you. Now, if you go there and just say, give me my takeout, you could actually end up with a huge download. I mean, like 50 gigabytes or something. Because if you include all of your emails, if you include all of your photos, if you include all the videos uploaded to YouTube, if you include all this kind of stuff, then so, you know, then there, it's gonna be a huge, huge, all your Google Drive files, it's gonna be a huge download. Now what I've done is you can actually selectively uh, say what you want and don't want downloaded. So actually, uh, you can say, I don't want my YouTube videos, I don't want my emails, I don't want my photos, I don't want my Google Drive, because I know what you've got there because I can still see them. What I'm interested in is all the other stuff. And so that's what I did. And when you do that, the download is actually quite a reasonable size. In fact, you may even find it to be to be only a few hundred uh, megabytes. So I downloaded a Google takeout that was concentrating on the activity and the kind of the data that Google uh, hold about me. And so when I downloaded this and I had a look around it, what did I find out? Well, first of all, the first thing that's really key is that Google in some areas keep everything for like ever. So I'm gonna show you an example in a moment where I've got you know, things dating back to 2015, 2014, that Google has still got a record of what I did uh, on that day on that particular service. So you might think that maybe you know, Google keep it for a few days and then delete it. They don't, they actually keep it for, in some cases, it seems like uh, absolutely forever. Now, of course, when you look at the Google takeout, uh, you're expecting certain things. So did I expect a copy of my bookmarks that I've saved in Chrome? Absolutely, I did. Did I expect, you know, a copy of, you know, the kind of the things I've searched for? Well, yes, absolutely I did because they're, they're, you know, part of Google services. What I didn't expect was how well Google has integrated and kind of cross-referenced everything that you do. So for example, here's a, a real kicker of a one. It has a record of all the purchases that I have made on the internet going back like five years. And when I mean every purchase, I mean from Amazon, from eBay, from iTunes, even plane tickets, and none of those things have got anything to do with Google. I didn't even search, you know, plane tickets, and then there was some, you know, I went to, you know, a travel website directly, typed in the URL, and yet Google have a copy of that purchase. And when I first saw that, I was quite shocked. How come it knows about the plane tickets that I bought in 2015? Uh, why are they here in Google's records of my online purchases? And after some investigation, what I found out, of course, is it's because they have a copy of all my emails. So whenever you buy something from iTunes, from a, a plane ticket, from Amazon, you get a response email, Google are parsing those, and they're flagging in a database somewhere, this is a purchase that you have made. And of course, we know that because actually, Google and Gmail will actually show you that little bar, for example, on airplane tickets, it will show you that you've got a plane leaving on such and such a date and it arrives here and it goes there and they give you a nice little information bar and that's because they've passed your email, but it doesn't do that on the fly, it does that and keeps a record of it permanently. So if you go into the purchases folder in this takeout, you will see a record of all the things that you have purchased and that can be a little frightening, I must say. Another thing that was interesting, although I was expecting it to have a list of all my searches, it stores with that search your location when you did that search. So in the activity list that they give you, it might say you searched for McDonald's, and of course it stored exactly where you were. I was in the centre of London, I was looking for the nearest McDonald's, and bash, there it is stored in this file forever on Google servers. 
Another interesting thing was it knows about all the articles that I've read on Google News. Often I get the Google News alerts kind of, you know, on my phone because it kind of integrates into everything we do. You say, oh, look, Google News, something, and you click on it, and there is a list in there, take out all the Google News articles that you have read because you went through Google service to actually read it. So again, these are kind of, I should have known these things, I guess I did know these things, but when you see it there in front of you, you think, wow, that's, uh, that's uh, more detailed than I was expecting. And a moment ago, I mentioned location data connected to the searches. Well, there is a folder in the takeout about location, and get this, there is a file that tells me all my locations you know, over several years, and it's 375 megabytes long. So there's 375 megabytes of location data with a timestamp, with a longitude and a latitude that Google have stored and have permanently stored on their servers, and you can download it and see it, but it's there, okay? And it's gonna be there until, you know, Google dies or something, because it's, it's there. And as I mentioned in the uh, uh, video on Android Authority, Google have a copy, an MP3 file of every command that I've spoken to my Google Home Mini. So what that means is that it wasn't recording anything until the keyword activates the device, and then it starts to record everything and it stores it in an MP3 file. And I said, the problem with that is if I just say, you know, hey, turn up the volume to 50%, that's fine. But what you don't realize is that background noise gets captured as well. So the example I gave is if someone, if I said, hey Google, and I started to give a command, and then someone comes and says, come to the table and have dinner, well, that background noise, come to the table and have dinner, is also recorded and is stored on Google servers. Now that's okay, come to the table and have dinner, but what happens if someone said something that you don't want uh, recorded? And I'm not gonna even try to speculate what that might be, but people can say a lot of things that you don't want recorded. So here, let's have a listen to a couple of examples of files that I've got that show you the background noise that you can have from a, a Google Home uh, registering your voice where you're giving it a command. Okay, well, so what I want you to do as I play this clip that I've taken from the Google Takeout, listen to the background noise, not the command I'm giving, that's pretty simple, but listen to the background noise. Let's play that now. Hey, Google. Set the volume to 70%. So obviously you could hear my kids there playing in the background. Of course, that means that any time I activated Google Home, it picks up all the noise that it can hear with all those directional microphones, and that recording is stored on Google servers. So while we're here, let's have a look at this. This is one of the purchase things that you find in the purchases uh, folder, and I picked one here. Look, this is for an app that I've downloaded from Amazon. Okay, Pudding Monsters HD, which I actually downloaded for my Kindle Fire tablet, and yet actually, look at that, Google have a copy of this app purchase. Now, this one was zero. Didn't cost me anything, it's a free download, but look at that, all listed there inside of my Google takeout, even though this is something I bought from Amazon. And again, if we look here, here is a list of all of the books that I visited on books.google.com. So look, here they are listed. So if you look, click on one here, it just shows us that there I was looking at the Linux Programmer's tool books, uh, Toolbox, and that's from 2015. So I clicked on that book to look at it, you know, three years ago, uh, if not more, and Google still have a uh, copy of it. Okay, so there you have it. There are some of the things that Google keep about you. So really, I would recommend for your own kind of kind of as a wake up call, get a Google takeout. Don't download your photos and your Gmails and your Google Drive because it will be a huge download. But if you trim all that lot down, including trim down the videos that you've uploaded to YouTube because they will get included, trim that right down, then you're gonna get yourself a couple of hundred megabytes of data which just talks about, you know, where you've been, what you've done, what you've, you know, it's even got a record in there every time I've played Solitaire because it's used Google's Play Game service which kind of gives you that you know, way of unlocking achievements. That's there. So every time I play Solitaire, there is this long list. Play Solitaire on this date, play Solitaire on this date, play Solitaire there. And I play Solitaire whenever I'm waiting for a bus or whatever, I just, you know, quickly start playing. And it's, there's this big long list of all the times I play Solitaire. Now, that, it records everything about you. Absolutely everything. And it's really worth getting a takeout, okay, so you can download and see what Google knows about you. 
Okay, so there we have it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I'm sure the comments section will be full of lots of people talking about privacy and what Google know. And Go at it. Tell me what you really think about all this. Tell me if you've downloaded a takeout on what you've discovered in there and whether you were shocked or whether you were kind of, you knew that anyway. Okay, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and well, that's about it. I'll see you in the next video.